Are you ready to go? Where's Councilmember Langer and Councilmember Rowe? They're there. They're there. We will be starting in five, four, three. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Tuesday, November 1st meeting of the Olympia City Council. Up next is Democritus Blantier, followed by uh, Brittany. Hello. I wanted to take this opportunity to denounce the City Council, not the individual members of the City Council, mind you, but the institution itself. You see, I'm of the opinion that if people are significantly affected by something, then they should have the means available to them to directly, and amongst all of them, equally decide the outcome of the thing in question that affects them. It's only basically fair, it's an elementary principle of fairness that I think even children could understand. Yet the ridiculous situation that we find ourselves in today is that we exist in political systems that concentrate power to such an extreme degree as that in the city of Olympia. It's like this, for every one city council person, there are 6,800 other Olympians. Now, who would have the hubris to actually say, to seriously claim, that they have an ability to render decisions of statecraft that are at or superior to, or even beginning to approach that of 6,800 people all coming together in a open, directly democratic dialogue, an open dialogue where, where people are pulling their ideas together, where people are working together to find solutions to problems that face all of us here in the city. I think that none of you could actually seriously make this claim, and I think that none of you um, would actually seriously believe in such a claim. What we need to do is we need to adopt a transition towards a government that is much more aligned with this basic principle of fairness that I described earlier. It's the principle that if we're affected, we should participate directly and equally in deciding the outcome. Now, only a directly de democratic system of government is capable of functioning in this regard. The current system that we have is a leftover, a relic, antiquated. It's primitive and backward, and it's holding back a lot of the needed progress, a lot of the needed progress in order to actually come to effective solutions to many of the political and social problems that we're facing today. Indeed, the political systems that we find ourselves with here at the city level, but also at the state and at the national level, are largely the cause of and not the solution to many of the problems that we're faced with today. Just consider many of the wars, many of the various policies that are being passed, including the Patriot Act, that are being enacted here at the national level. The majority of Americans don't want these policies, yet the majority of the people who are in positions of power do want these policies. We need to transition towards a directly democratic government. Thank you. Thank you. Up next is uh, Brittany, followed by Timothy Page. <laughs> 